Greetings, pioneers. Today we will be making far too many ingots. Specifically, we will focus on iron ingots, copper ingots, and cotyrium ingots. Aluminum ingots will be discussed at another time and steel ingots are best discussed in the context of more advanced production. Iron, copper, and cotyrium ingots can each be made in a variety of ways that involve using smelters, foundries, or refineries. Fixit Incorporated does not create bad recipes so any recipe can be useful in the correct situation. For iron, copper, and cotyrium production, smelters will be the simplest and most energy-efficient choice for ingot production. Refineries will offer the greatest ingot per ore ratios, while foundries will offer a balance of material efficiency, power efficiency, and space requirements. For each of these materials, the optimal choice will depend on your specific circumstances. Each pioneer is recommended to assess their own construction plans to determine which recipe they should use. In the case of this pioneer, we have elected to move forward with the pure ingot recipe for all three due to the excellent resource efficiency and capability to standardize the process across all three material types because the layout can be the same between all three factories. In theory, this pioneer's plans could use the standard iron and copper alloy alternate recipes but Caterium needs high efficiency which will require designing a large-scale refinery anyway. Now that the recipes have been chosen, let's build a factory. The following blueprints have been optimized for ease of construction for all three factory types as a whole rather than optimizing construction costs for each individual factory. Because pure copper ingot has the lowest throughput, it was used to determine the quantity of machines, 16 refineries per floor. The logistics of the pure ingot recipes are straightforward so we simply feed the ore and water in from below. This layout has been thoroughly tested and verified with 100% uptime as long as the water throughput is less than 590 cubic meters of water per minute. This is convenient because the copper refinery only needs 400 cubic meters of water per minute. Fixit denies all allegation that fluids are difficult to comprehend or implement efficiently. This is clearly pioneer shortcoming. With the logistics complete, let's make this factory ready for a Terran United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration audit. First, this factory has been designated as a Prometheus Limited Liability Company foundry. This allows the foundry to be shut down in the case of a bankruptcy situation without impacting Fixit any more than delaying production for the replacement time for the foundry. Second, display computers have been added to each refinery to track the resource consumption and production. They also allow the pioneer to feel like they are contributing to my calculations which has been found to have a positive impact on pioneer efficiency. Third, protective barriers, lighting, and signage have been placed anywhere a pioneer may need to go during construction or maintenance. The river of molten metal is absolutely not compliant with the Terran United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration requirements. But it's so cool that it got a pass. Fourth, to move the multi-ton crucible, gantries have been installed near the ceiling to lift and pour the molten metal into molds which will output the ingots as they cool. Note, molten metal poses a non-negligible risk of thermal injury when in close proximity. Fifth, basic break rooms and mess halls have been provided for the mandated break times. Of course, we know that every pioneer is honored and privileged to work through their breaks. And sixth, a large research and development space, productivity enhancement space, meeting rooms, and a manager's office have also been provided. Fixkit has no need for research and development teams but this facade enables a smoother application process for ISO 9001 certification. Many other small details have been added as well. Many of the blueprints involved in making these factories have been uploaded to the skim for your acquisition. The best Fixit employees share their construction schematics with their fellow pioneers because when one pioneer succeeds, all pioneers succeed. See the link in the description for access to the relevant Skim user page. Converting this blueprint from copper to caterium or iron is a simple matter of reassigning recipes and adjusting the color scheme to properly represent the produced material. Note. The throughput of the iron refinery is significantly higher so it has been upgraded to consume 1200 ore per floor instead of 600. Now that the designs are complete, let's see what these factories look like with maximum graphical simulation.
Thank you for watching. And remember, be effective, be efficient. It's up to you to save the day.